I've literally done nothing this whole transfer thing. That's kind of depressing. I bet you his wages are ridiculous. I'll go for a two-year loan. Why not? Uh, well, I am not... I'm paying... He's 18k a week. We signed Greenwood. Um, yeah, he'll he'll join the squad. Oh no no, he actually hasn't signed for us yet. Fuck off. He rejected our loan. Fine, I didn't want I didn't want Mason Greenwood anyway. Why why why? You really think I'm gonna let this guy go? Never in a million years will I let Kutreni go because I love him. Now Paulini has got a season in him. Sanchez has got a few. Um, so that's why I'm just going to go in for Sanchez. Let's go for a 10 mil. Off at 12.8. Uh, this game is broken. Because I don't think anyone would ever let him. I'm just going to go for 10 mil. Plus like a bit of a sell on clause. Go for a 5% sell on clause. Yeah we'll do that. 6%. Oh god you're lucky. Okay cool. He looks like a pedophile. I'm not going to lie. Alright. Hi Renato. I look so happy with myself. Rotational, I could I could take that any day. I'll go for twenty-five plus fifty K bonus. Okay, well no. Uh yeah, let's sign Renato Sanchez. Why not? We just sign him. So yeah, that's Renato Sanchez, he's kind of a beast. Charlie Besonder, put on the uh transfer list. Uh and also I think we're about to sell Costa, so you know, let's just let's just sign Charlie Masonda. All right, seven point five. I'm fine with that. Let's sign Charlie Masonda. He can be rotational. Nice. Four years. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not paying sixty-four k a week. Thirty k plus fifty k bonus. Have thirty-five k. No. And a £200,000 bonus. He'll take the bench warming number as in a 92. 92. Charlie Masonda. He's got decent skills to be honest. Weak foot, five star. Um, skills? Did I just say skills? I meant to say stats. Ah, you're on the transfer list, aren't you? Pablo Zabaleta, get in my squad. Literally, he's not going to play, but I feel like we need a voice in the dressing room. And it's only one mil, so, you know. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go for that. Pellegrini, that does not look like Pellegrini. Sporadic, yeah, sure. No, again, okay, okay you can have 18. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's got to think about it. That's bullshit. Well, I'm not going to sign him if he wants 20k a week. Oh, they've accepted. Cool. Um, yeah. Welcome to the club, Pablo Zabaleta. Transfer for Full Mutinio. Ooh. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love Mutinio. But we have just bought another centre mid. And there is Wal Prowse. And he is, his weekly wage is 81k per week. Oh, I don't know what to do. We'll negotiate it. Well, let's go for 18. 18 mil and then we can talk. Um, okay, what the fuck? Uh, okay. Well, that just came out of nowhere. Ah, James Ward Prowse. <laughs> Just go for an evaluation. 20 mil bid. No, 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 no. No, yeah, okay, I can feel that. Alright, right now we're signing James Ward Prowse. We just need to see if Moutinho leaves. Because if Moutinho leaves, then I'm like, okay, fine, I won't. Uh, I'll sign James Ward Prowse. But if he doesn't, then. Because I know he loves this club. And, um. Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. James Ward Prowse not gonna sign. No way! Are you mad? 
Oh my god, that's just because I couldn't sign you at the time, but now I can. No. <laughs> Alright. Andres, please join. I beg. Just join. Let's go for 8.5. Just go for 7.5. Please join. Fuck no, okay, I'll accept that, Jesus. I just need to sign someone. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. How far does Iniesta's hairline go? Except, oh my god, his wage is tiny. To be honest, I'm gonna accept that. We we sign Iniesta. <laughs> um, yeah, we sign Iniesta. 88? We'll go for 88. Right, so, yeah, this is the uh, transfers. Uh, Arsenal got rid of Bellerin. It's quite shocking. Um, uh, Chelsea have bought no one and sold Willian Drinkwater, Zaba Costem, obviously Masunda. Um, Everton have only bought in one player and sold loads of players, Mi Mina and Calvert-Lewin especially. Uh, Fulham and Donna Fulham uh, leads are back in the Prem. Uh, Leicester got rid of Chilwell, that's quite big, and Pereira. Um, Liverpool have bought, uh, sold Matip, wow. Uh, City have sold Jesus, wow. United have sold Shaw and Sanchez, wow. Uh, Newcastle bought Mer from us, obviously. We are probably, are we the only team who actually spent money? Oh, no we're not. Jesus, Donna born a lot of players who I have no idea who they are, but you know, will they play them? Probably not. Um, oh, West Ham got rid of Frederick Diop and Zabaleta and bought in Moutinho. And we have bought, so we have spent 95 mil, but we've got back 67 mil, so. Yeah, that's, that's not that great. Anyway, top deals, Fabian. Went to PSG, Goretzka went to Barca, and Asensio went to PSG. PSG is stacked now. And yeah, I don't know who these players are, but anyway, I'll see you guys next episode. Yeah, so that was meant to be in the last episode, but um, it, it, I just just didn't put it in because it was a very long transfer deadline day. We made many signings. Including Andres Iniesta, yes, a World Cup Champions League winner and La Liga winner, a club legend. Oh, brilliant! Love that. Great. For Barcelona, yeah, my um, controller did run out of charge there. That I thought that was pretty funny, but anyway, um, yeah. Uh, we obviously had to play one of those uh, new signings and we chose Renato Sanchez. I thought that chowder he's been a bit meh in his recent performances. So I thought why not play Renato Sanchez for his first game against Bristol City. So Bristol City obviously a new side in this crew to the Premier League and we filled with a very, very strong eleven. All right, let's go, boys. Uh, first game ever against Bristol City yeah, of the season, and uh, trust me, the buzzing sound will go. Um, oh, I've I've now got tea. Well, this is really really worked out well. Tin Neves, Sanchez, Neves, Sanchez. And Sanchez, oh my god, for his first chance, first chance as a Wolves player, and he scores the goal, it's 1-0 against Bristol City in the 6th minute, and his first chance, oh my god, a dream debut here for Renato, I mean, the boy wonder just smashes it in, and what a start that is for Renato Sanchez, unbelievable. Alright, I'm back from my tea, and uh, yeah, sorry about the buzzing noise, I, I couldn't do much about it, but um, yeah, uh, wow, that was a great start, good chance for Bristol, and they're going to play it really well, clear that, and we do, Jota, Jota, come on Nelson, 
Come on, Nelson. Get there, Nelson. He does get there. And Reese Nelson now. He's through. Oh, ref, that's a foul. It's a penalty. And we do win a penalty. And that could be a red card. Um, it isn't. Well, that was... That's annoying. But um, it's a definite foul. It's a definite penalty. And uh, I thought I took it too far. But I just took it to the side. And Reese Nelson does well. And, um, yeah... Who's going to be stepping up to take it? Ryan Fraser, the new man, steps up. But I'm going to give it to Neves, obviously. I don't know where to go. Where did I go last time? Ah, and it's a great pen. It's another beauty. And Re Ruben Neves gets one goal and one assist in this match. He's, he just defies the laws of physics there. But fair play to Reese Nelson. Taking one for the team. Could have took it. But, uh, you know, you know the penalty taker. You know the captain. It's Ruben Neves. And um, our Portuguese midfield of Jota, Neves, and Sanchez is working very well right now. Cutrone. Cutrone finds Nelson now. And Nelson. And Nelson. Good pace by him. And there's Cutrone. And it is 3 0. Oh my lord. Patrick Cutrone bows in front of the Wolves fans because it's 3 0 now. And oh my lord, in one half. And Bristol City are getting torn apart here. And what a bounce back from a shaky start. But Patrick Cutrone gets two goals. Yeah, gets the second goal in the league. And we get our third goal in the game. And here's Diego Hurtado now. Diego Hurtado finds Iniesta. And Iniesta finds Hurtado. And Hurtado with his left foot. He scores. But who gets the assist? Andres Iniesta. But Diego Hurtado gets the goal. And I think that's his first Premier League goal. And it's assisted by Iniesta. The um, old links with the new. And oh, it's a really nice finish by Hurtado. And it is his first goal. I First goal of the Premier League season. Season. And our number 10, our Argentinian right, um, Argentinian um, future star, <laughs> scores the goal. Well, that's not really a shock, as you remember, Iniesta and a fellow Argentinian player liked to link up. I'm, I'm talking about Messi. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make it cool. It's not cool. Shut up. Here's a chance now for Bristol, and it's saved by Lopez, <laughs> and just glitched out over there. 4-0 is the final score, and well, what a performance by the lads. A really, really good performance by the boys, and uh, yeah, 4-0, and yeah, this game was just full of brilliant moments. Sanchez's first goal for the club. Iniesta getting the assist for Hurtado's first goal for the club. Neves, our captain, getting his second goal of the season. And Nelson getting, uh, I think, an assist. And obviously, he set up, won the penalty. So, yeah. Very good game. So, all our debutants were brilliant in that match. Hurtado was brilliant as well. And also, Patrick Utrona getting his first goal of the season. But for some reason, Charlie Masonda was brought up in the press conference when I literally said he is the next <laughs> Cavalero slash Helder Costa. Um, and yeah, that's crazy. Maybe he'll join Galatasaray after we try and sell Charlie Masonda. Um, but yeah, uh, Renato Sanchez and Iniesta in the limelight, and I was just ecstatic after that match. Sanchez put in a really good performance, and Iniesta impacted the game so much. He is so good at passing, guys. You have no idea. But then Willie Bolly came to us, and uh, what did I just say? Uh, Willie Bolly just came um, came to us and said he's not happy with the game time, and I was like, mate, I'm trying to put the youngsters in. Bolly, you're going to have to know your place. But he would play in the next Europa League game. And what, so would Charlie Masonda, who was um, talked about in the press conference. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what to do with Charlie Masonda. I sign him because there's like a bit of a winger issue. I know we have Hurtado, 
but I prefer to play him in the middle, like at a cam roll, I think. Like I he has much better stats for a cam than a, a a left mid. And while going into this game, just look at the team's kits. Um no. Sorry. The fuck are those for kits? And we're heading into our first Europa League game of the group stage. Yes, we got the qualif um, qualifiers. Um, we won them uh, very convincingly. Um, but uh, going into this game, I had no idea who this team was. But apparently they're from... Where are they from? Oh, I know this. Wait, shut up. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Czech Republic. I was about to say Czechoslovakia, and I have no idea why. But yeah, we're fielding a very weak inside, fully weak inside, actually. A playing with players who need to fight for their place. Wesley, Hurtado, Iniesta, Johnny, and Doherty. Meaning they all had something to fight for. Alright, um, well, I need to sort of just upload my <laughs> uh, video. So, yeah, this is kind of unprepared. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, the, the team, they have disgusting kits, but, you know, flip is on the board. I have no idea who these players are. But uh, maybe we could have a fast start like we did uh, against Bristol. Decent team. That was a good chance for uh, them, but John Ruddy makes a good save. Adama. And Adama gets there. He's going to look to cross it in. And there's Wesley. Oh my lord, Wesley. You've missed a crucial chance of the match. And I thought he was just going to smash it in. Doherty, Chowdhury. Iniesta. And Iniesta finding Hurtado. And he does score. And the two link up once again. Old and the new. And Hurtado smashing it in to the top right corner. Really good goal by him. But um, Iniesta with a fantastic pass. And oh my god, having this guy in our team is just mesmerizing what a ball and then what a finish that is by Hurtado and well Wesley's chance gets made up for by Diego Hurtado with his second third goal of the Europa League insane stack and here's a chance for uh, them and it's a really good chance but Ruddy makes save oh we missed it <laughs> Come on. Oh, Wesley. He's running through. Oh. He missed it. <laughs> oh, my God. How he saved it. And Chowdhury. And Chowdhury finds Iniesta. Oh, my God. And the one chance the Spaniard has. Uh, it's just skipped the celebration. The one chance the Spaniard had. Uh, he scores it, but Wesley, no, Wesley needs about five, six, seven, ten chances to score. <laughs> but Andres Iniesta, what a game this man has had. And yeah, brilliant, brilliant finish from the Spanish player. Right, Doherty has actually had an awful game. But <laughs> missed it! <laughs> oh my god, what a save! Hurtado finding Wesley, and Wesley now... <laughs> And he's going to cut and start on his right. And he smashes it in. He doesn't score easy chances. He wants the best chance to score. And he knocks out. Oh, that's such a bad pun. Oh, why did I say that? He knocks it out. Because <laughs> he did the boxing set. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, um, great. But what a finish that is by Wesley. He just smashes it in at top right corner. And their yeah, quality goal, and that's his third goal of the Europa League campaign. We do win our first Europa League game 3 0. What a game! What an episode you guys having! Deadline day and 3 3 0 to, uh, to Wolves. So, yeah, that's a really, really good performance by the lads there. And uh, yeah, just happy, just happy with it, just happy with the game. But Charlie Masondo was trash. And so yep, um, that game was very interesting, to say the least. It was a decent performance. Hatado and Wesley and Iniesta, all the goal scorers, and they all played well. But uh, Doherty and Musonda were very disappointing, especially Musonda. He just did not get the ball, and I thought he was pretty shit. But um, although. Um, <clears throat> Um, normally in the episode you'd have two more games or one more game or, or three more games. Uh, I don't know why I said it in that order. Um, got it.
And gonna 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 tell you tell you some bad news, guys. Gonna tell you some bad news. Uh. It's happened again. It's happened again. He's fucked up. It's happened again. Yeah, that that was that was a frustrating, fr frustrating time. Um, yeah, yeah, I realised that I didn't record <laughs> the Norwich game again. So you know, you guys, you guys, I love I love derbies and football, and you guys are loving, loving life, watching me not record Norwich versus Wolverhampton Wanderers again and yeah it was actually a really good game um so so I, I, i'll go through it so first um it started obviously you got you got to start you got to start the game you fucking retards and then uh lopez we went to claim the ball in the air but but he didn't catch it so it just went over him and 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 and, and, and norris scored but then a miracle happened and someone scored. I can't. I can't fucking remember. I don't fucking care. Someone scored, all right? Who cares? Who actually fucking cares? And um, after that, uh, it was boring as fuck. But it got to um the last minute. It was played through and Wesley, Wesley, Wesley. Scored the goal in the last minute. So yeah, that 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 was annoying. That that did record, but um, yeah, yeah, that was that was a fun score. It's two nil, and um, also nil nil game against Southampton. It was it was it was really fucking boring.